Hey guys! Look! You can kind of see him because it's bright enough! Woo! He's so Okay, this is generally his couch because it's kind of like, like the right size for him. And he is pretty much just taking it over since coming here. And so I'm really messing him up by sitting in it. So he's, yeah, he can't figure out where to lay. <laughs> okay, now that we're comfortable and my feet are warm, um, I wanted to do a video because I always see <laughs> he's falling off the chair. Oh, this is going to be a good one, guys. This is going to go <laughs> real well. What are you doing, buddy? He's stuck. <laughs> Come here. You can sit. <laughs> well, I guess we're going for backwards today. Yeah, I guess we're going here. Why don't you lay down? Okay. Yeah. Come here. Come here. We just get to see his really good end for the entire duration of this video. Um, here we are. <laughs> so sad. Um, okay, so I might as well start this off now that we're two minutes in. My videos always go way too long, and now it's because of you. I can blame you. Yeah. <laughs> Um, so, I was going to do a video about all the crazy things that people say to me while I have a service dog. So I always hear other, I always watch other people's, like, crazy service dog stories, and so I thought I'd add some of my own now that we are a couple months in and finally have some good ones. So, as y'all know, I'm going to college next semester for, like, I'm going back to college for my junior year. And so we had orientation a couple of, like a week, a couple of weeks ago. Oh, buddy, I brought Trek because obviously I bring him everywhere. And there were people, like I was in the room to like sign up for classes. Oh my God, my hair is hideous. I am sorry. I need a haircut so bad. So I was in the room to register for classes and some guy, like one of the worker volunteer helper people comes in and he's like, I had to look up your name so that I could come and see if I could pet your dog. And so he, like, hunted me down, like, to pet Trek, who is a service dog, who clearly is marked, do not pet, I'm working. And at that same event, there was a, a parent, I, I believe, um, a, like, lady that just stared at me and Trek for a solid two hours. Like, did not break eye contact one time in that whole, like, two-hour song and dance. Hey, everybody, life's great. We all, we're so excited to have you. Blah, blah, blah. We'll never speak to you again. Bye. Um, during that whole thing, Trek and I sat in the back with the, like, handicap accessible seats where they have the two seats and then they have the spaces for people in wheelchairs. And so usually if I'm going to an event like that, I sit on the chair and then I have Trek sit next to me so he's not taking up a ton of space in case there is somebody that needs the extra room. But generally there's about five spaces open for or enough room for about five people in wheelchairs to sit. And so it usually works out pretty well. And then I don't have to try to, like, walk through, down the stairs, past everybody to sit in the front, because I can really either sit in the front or the back on those stadium seating. Because I can't have Trek sitting in the rows, and then, like, people trying to walk past, and it just, it's easier if we sit in the back. Or in the front and not in the aisle because people are moving all the time and not in the rows because people are moving all the time. 
But yeah, so I don't know why exactly she was staring at me, but she was staring intently. And so I just kind of like looked back at her and I was like, and she just like looked away for two seconds and then continued to stare the entire time. And I was like, okay, not even gonna, not even gonna touch that one. There was one time <laughs> I was walking Trek and somebody was like, oh, you're so beautiful. And I was like, oh, oh, thank you. I don't usually get compliments like that. Thank you. And then it turns out that she was talking to Trek. <laughs> and so it was really awkward because I was like, oh, okay. Yep. Cute puppy. <laughs> what do you say after you're like, oh, thank you so much. And then them being like, I was talking to your dog. <laughs> oh, thank you for the compliment. You're so nice. My dog totally cares. Like, you don't need to inflate his ego more. Like, I could use a boost. I'm pretty too. <laughs> um, I have a lot of people. Okay, Trek is 80 pounds. He pretty much weighs more than me and usually takes up more space than me. And people don't notice him. I don't know how you do not see this giant lug. You can't miss it. It's huge. Okay, I realize I'm now talking about my dog as an it. Okay, Trek is huge. And there are people that like accidentally step on him even when he's wearing all of his red gear and stuff there are people that I am talking to and then I'll be like oh and Trek and then like gesture to him and they'll be like oh, there was a dog here and I'm like we've been talking for 20 minutes <laughs> yes yes there's a dog here how did you not notice okay I have a lot of people that come up and think that I'm training him which makes sense because I don't look like I need him but then I also have a lot of people that come up to me thinking that I'm blind which I know happens to a lot of service dog owners but it happens probably twice a day if I go out and I'm like I have glasses on people glasses this means that I have some form of sight. Like, I'm not legally blind because I have glasses. If I didn't have my glasses, be a different story. But I have corrective lenses that work to correct my vision. I do not have a surface dog. I have glasses. Or, I do have a... <laughs> I don't have a surface dog. I've gotten rid of it. No. <laughs> I have a service dog for something, and I have glasses for something else. <sighs> but anyways, I get caught in a lot of weird conversations with Trek, and I believe a lot of service dog owners do, so I think we should all make videos or do, like, a Twitter tag of, like, people said what to my dog? <laughs> Do that. That would be funny. Okay. Have a good day. Love y'all. Check says bye too. Yeah. <laughs> bye.